It's the Will Edwards Show with me, your co-host, John Paul Raniola. You're watching Las Vegas' only late-night variety talk show. And now, your host, Will Edwards. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the Will Edwards Show. Despite what my birth certificate says, I am Will Edwards. We have, we have a fantastic show for you tonight. I am really really excited about who's in the house but let's find out who it is john paul who do you have at the bar hi will sitting next to me our special guest tonight the lovely the beautiful the talented author rain thomas <laughs> and musical guest chris kennedy is also on the show tonight <laughs> and now ladies and gentlemen the Will Edwards Show presents Thought of the Day. So I was thinking the other day, everyone has to poop. We all know this. And, and there's a thing out there, a courtesy flush for the guy next door and the other stall. But why don't you courtesy flush for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> when your poop hits the water, just flush it. Don't sit there and stew in your own juices when you could just get rid of that right away. And ladies and gentlemen, that's my thought of the day. You gotta tell them. When your poop hits the water. When it hits the water, <laughs> you, 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 you must flush. We'll be right back with Rain Thomas. Come on back, join us. It doesn't taste like chocolate. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the Will Edwards Show. Our special guest this evening has an impressive resume. If, if we covered her whole resume, we would be here for like four shows, a whole month of shows with her. But instead, we're just gonna pinpoint on one thing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the very talented Rain Thomas. Hey, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. This is great. Of course. Welcome. Welcome to our new pad. This is awesome. You like it? I love it. Excellent. My first question is, are you a black lesbian rabbi? No, I am not. And one does not exist 
to this date. Really? I had to do research. You did research I on did, that? I did, yes. Re okay, let me, let, let's fill the people in at home. The reason I asked that question is because one of Rain's books is entitled, Hey, Hey Amy, I'm a black lesbian rabbi. It's a children's book, so it's good for, it is a, it's good for the whole family. It's, it's, it's a compilation of bedtime stories and <laughs> things like that. Lesbian bedtime stories, nice. So t what, uh, tell us about that. What's the, what's the deal with, I if you're not a, a black lesbian rabbi, what's the, what's the? Well, hey Amy, I'm a black lesbian rabbi and other spiritual insights talks about putting your faith before your fears. Because a lot of times people will talk to me and say, oh, you know, I don't wanna do that or I can't believe you do that. It actually comes from the perspective of my own life which has some dysfunction in it. As of course being here, it shows that. And, uh, <laughs> Was that was that from was you? that a shot? Was I, that I, me? I was that on me? Was that me? Oh, okay, good. And it, it it has a lot of information there for people to go in. It's nonfiction and put their faith before their fears and know that if you surround yourself with great things and great people and stay focused, if you wanted to be a black lesbian rabbi, you could or anything else in this world. I, I could. You could. Could I? Almost. <laughs> <laughs> It's the lesbian thing that I'm missing. <laughs> it's the... I can hook you up. I know someone. That's, oh, a... oh, that's very nice of you. One of the things, listen, one of the things that I love about your books, it is, it's very, everything is very personal. It is, a, is about you. It's, a, it's, it's about um, experiences that you've had. I got a chance to read uh, this one, which is called uh, Born Again Bag Lady. Which is which is very interesting. It's a guide. It's basically a guide on garage sales and, and and yard sales. Whether you're going to do one or you're going to one. Exactly. And and I thought it was cool. Let, I'm going to read out of here because do I thought this. Thing. I'm reading through the book, right? And I got to this part and I thought hilarious. So she has different. There's different chapters in here, but there's a part. It comes. The the title of the the chapter is called Sex Toys. <laughs> and she writes. Not even up for discussion. <laughs> Garage sales. But, but the, the chapter right after that was hilarious to me. Coffins, urns, and their accessories. <laughs> Which she goes into that, that you know, you, there's a possibility that you'll see a coffin or an urn at a garage sale, and obviously you have. I have in the South. It was laid out right in front of the house. I thought, oh, well, that's different. Now, does that come with somebody in it? or It, is it was it... closed, yeah. and so I wrote about that as well because they asked me if I wanted them to open it. I said, I don't think that's a safe thing to say to somebody. So you, you give in the book, you give 10 things you should not do while you are trying to sell a coffin or an urn. Here, here I'm, gonna read, I'm just going to read a few of them. Do not, number one, do not express to me that I'm getting a bargain. <laughs> number two, do not tell me that that urn is a vase. Because <laughs> that's just not right. It's sick. It's disgusting. Oh, here, here's one. And oh, number five, do not say stupid stuff to me like, all you need, <laughs> all you need now is a nice dress. <laughs> Or, 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 you, you'll look just like you're asleep in there. <laughs> what is, wait, 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 there was another one that I, that I love. What, what was the, what was the one? Hang on. Is this a real show? What are we doing? <laughs> look, no, listen. I, no, no, it is the a real show. There's no Oh, here it is. Cameras. Here it is, number six. Save, save the jokes. Uh, 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 save the jokes, she says. For example, Aren't you just dying to try it? <laughs> this model is a dead ringer for the expensive ones. I, I just, I, I, you know, I just love the humor of, of what you write and how you write it. And, and you know, you, you take these situations and you make them quite humorous. Thank you, Will. Thank you. That's what I try to do. You know, try to turn life a little different so people can see everything isn't so serious. And even in the serious times, you know, maybe make a little joke about it. I love it. I, I went on to your website. I looked onto your website, and this this book, I'm 40, I'm feisty, and there's a gray hair in my what? <laughs> also a children's book. Yes. 
So, so on it, there was a, there was a, I read uh, a young man wrote. He he was in uh, England in mm -hmm. in the United Kingdom, and he just wrote. I don't write reviews, but I, I've read some of your books. He said, I'm paraphrasing. I've read some of your books, and I will tell you, I bought the I'm 40 and I'm feisty. I gave it to my wife. I thumbed through it. I bought another copy for myself. He says. Then I bought a copy for my mom and my sisters, and then I bought another copy for my sister-in-laws. I am going to keep reading. What is it about this book? Well, you know what? I'm 40, I'm feisty, and there's a gray hair on my what, and other surprises after age 25. It, it's, a non, it's a nonfiction again, and it talks about the things that we find important that really aren't. You know, they talk about going gray, or everybody, all of my friends in there are from ages 25 to 92. And I noticed we complained about the same things. I'm too fat, I'm too thin, I'm too tall. Crow's feet, which I didn't even know what those were. I thought it was something you eat because my family's from the South. <laughs> 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 I don't know. You know, and I wanted to put a spin on it where so people could see it and say, you know what, we're being ridiculous. You know, be grateful God has allowed you to get up and take a breath of fresh air nice. and you're able to have fellowship and have something to eat or, you know, there's so many things to be grateful for and we waste a lot of time on things that are superficial. So I just, you know, I just wanted people to see that it's funny getting older. You'd be blessed that you have the chance to even get older. Well, who inspires you? As in terms a, of writing your books as a, as a writer, who inspires you? This was my husband's idea. Really? Yes, because I'm a musician of 44, 45 years. And he said, um, when we moved here, I didn't have anything to do. And my husband said, you tell good stories. He said, you should think about writing a book. And I thought, yeah, that's his get off the hook so he doesn't have to listen to me talk. So <laughs> <laughs> Tell the wife to write a book. <laughs> That's right, get your pens out and notebooks. <laughs> and so being home a lot, I just started writing and Gracieisms was the first one where I made fun of my mom and her family from the South. And then it just, I, it took on a liking. Um, they actually premiered it in Canada. Oh, nice. And I went up and they had this, people had come from other countries for the book signing. I was floored because I didn't realize I was an author. I just, somebody wrote down some funny stories. Hey, thank you. I also read that you are a breast cancer survivor. Yes, one year and a few months. Fantastic. 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 Well, we, we are so happy that you could come in and you could sit down and talk with us. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for Rain Thomas. We'll be right back right after this. Thank you so much. Fantastic job. Celine's manager, do you think that she'll stay here in Las Vegas? Oh, we love it here. Uh, Renee loves it here. Uh, Celine, she also too loves it here. Uh, this is a wonderful place that we we thoroughly enjoy. Yeah, pardon. Celine, will you shut up? You don't have to all the time with the sing. I'm in the middle of an interview. <laughs> yes, uh, that's the boat uh, song. You know the song from the boat? Yes. Yes. Yes, it's a wonderful tune. All the time she likes to sing it. I tell you, she sings it so much that there are times that I wish to I drowned on the boat. <laughs> Shut up! But to answer your question, uh, we do love it here in Las Vegas. Okay. Well, thank you so much for the interview. No, I no, really appreciate thank it. you. Much appreciated. Yeah. Woman, shut up! Thank you. I mean, yeah, thank you. Welcome back. Welcome back to the program. Are Good you... time tonight, man. I know. We are rocking and rolling. Uh, the new set, I got to say that this is amazing. You like it? Yes, thank you for my little... My little nook here. Are you enjoying this bar? I, well, I'm at a bar. How could I not have a good time? That is, I, I, I agree. You, I do, you do your best work at bars. I do. That when I'm sleeping. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a fantastic new segment that, that, that we just started. It's called Around Vegas. We just went out onto the streets of Las Vegas talking to... And mugged people. We didn't mug anyone. No? No, we, we talked to, to people out Talk, in, in, in Las Vegas, and uh, I'm very proud of this segment, so take a look around Vegas. I'm interested. Hey 
Hey everybody, it's Will Edwards from The Will Edwards Show, and we're here at Lee's Discount Liquor in Las Vegas. And why? Because there is a signing of a brand new ultra premium tequila. What am I talking about? Bonita Platinum. In 2010, you started this company. Correct. Okay. Right before that, what, how, how do you, did you wake up in the morning and go, you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to do tequila. Well, I've always been an entrepreneur and I owned a very successful mortgage company nice. where I um, indulged in tequila once in a while and became quite a connoisseur. Nice. So I knew I wanted to get in the spirits world and I just found tequila to be fascinating. So I spent a lot of time down in Jalisco, Mexico, learning everything I could about tequila, nice. how um, to harvest it, how to cook it, how to distill it things like that. And after a few months, I went through hundreds of profiles, shared it with friends and family. Everyone loved what I'd come up with. So I was looking for someone to give me some feedback, celebrity influences, and saw a video of Exhibit uh, with a lot of Patron in that video. And I felt like he'd be a good fit to see if he likes it. <laughs> Let me take you back a little bit. Okay. So you get a box mm -hmm. in the mail yes. of tequila. Yes. You drink it. Yes. You like it. Yes, love it. What happens after that? Uh, well, you know, I, it, as bad as it sounds, I, I drink a lot of alcohol. <laughs> so I know when something is, you know, extraordinary. So when I got my first taste of Bonita, um, I reached out to, you know, the owners, Chris and Annette, and I was like, you know, how can I be involved in this? And one conversation led to the next, and now we are partners in Bonita because I believe in it that much. Now, listen, five times yeah. distilled. Right. Okay. You know, you could have stopped at three and a half, you know, because <laughs> look, look, because right now everyone's doing three, right, right? Right. So, so most of the premium tequilas are doing three, but but you could just win. You know what? I'll do four, but five times. We Why go, five? We times? go big. We go big. That's how we do it. So we just found that that worked better on our profile after the way we cooked it and, and uh, fermented it, distilled it. Cold, uh, the cold filtering, everything like that. So five times just worked great. All right, you got to give us your your professional review of not only the shot but your interaction with Exhibit. Uh, he was actually cool, chill about it. Had two shots. It was smooth. Didn't get the kick. Was real chill, like really good, really good. So you, so you would just be chilling at home or in the club. With a, with, a, with a glass of it, just... Two glass. Two glasses. <laughs> Maybe three. Well, three glasses. <laughs> it's obvious that when, when you go in, you go in all the way. That's right. So we, we appreciate... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, is this is the task. This is what it is. This is what it's about. Here we go. Okay. Some good, now, okay. So let's go. Okay. Hang on. All right. Let's so give so me most people... Let me just say this. I imagine that most people think, you know, they're gonna get yeah, that. They, they're, they're expecting the kick because that's what you used to when you drink the kick. Right. None of that here. Right. Number one. Number two. I would just grab my glass and just sip this. Yeah. All night. Okay. Cool. That's what that's I would what be doing. That's what we're aiming for. That's what we're looking for. Tonight it is absolutely special, I, I imagine. And the, the tour has started, you're out there, you're doing it. Tell us a little bit about tonight. Well, it's just a celebration of Bonita. It's exciting, all the celebrities are coming out to uh, help us uh, you know, kick it off the right way, and it's just gonna be a great party. We're really excited about it. Now, question, so you, you've been in business for a long time, Exhibit is, is a partner in, in Bonita. What advice would you give him or anyone getting into business you know the thing is the timing is everything and as opportunities appear they come in various different forms and it's all about seizing the moment what advice would you give to exhibit as he moves forward with Benita you know stay involved stay involved make sure that you you know you got your paw prints all over it so that way the brand is you know representation of who you are and what you represent so that way when it comes out people will enjoy it for the reasons of it being great and for it being connected to you as well. What was the best advice you've ever gotten? Never quit. I like it. Yeah. I like it. And if, and if you knew a young man who had a show, a young black man who had a show in Las yeah. Vegas, yeah. what advice would you give him? Never quit. I like it. I like it. <laughs> So there you have it, the release party of Bonita Platinum Tequila right here at the Hyde Nightclub in the Bellagio. We have seen some incredible stars out here this evening, but now it is time to go inside and taste some of that incredible tequila. We'll see you 
around Vegas.
guys to spice up some lemony chitty chat chat with Miss Pam. And who is the vanillinist and the spiciest? Well, it's my good friend, it's Vicky, y'all. Let's get some Vicky. Hey, Vicky. Oh, Pamela, darling. How are you? Wonderful. I'm very Ooh. happy to be here. We wonderful. Thank you. We love it. We're so glad you're here. Oh, thank you for having me, darling. You're Could very you know, loud. Oh, stop it, girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, girl, I'm glad we're going to get you everywhere on this show. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, y'all don't know. This Miss Vicky here can party, party, party. Ooh, last right. night we had a party to welcome her to Celebrity Chitty Chat Chat. And let me just say this. I ain't never seen T-Pain run so fast before. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I'm going to catch up with him next time. I know you are, girl. Been drinking since half past uh, Monday, I believe. <laughs> Woo. Ooh. I just want to say mm -hmm. it's a pleasure to be here, Pam. Uh, considering that I, I no longer work officially for the Will Edwards show. What? Yes, Mark R. Johnson, that nasty man that he is. What? Uh, he fired me. Shut up, girl! Yes, I was in the offices one day, mm -hmm. and a very strong uh, Jamie Foxx came in to talk to Will Edwards, mm -hmm. and he came in in a tank top, mm -hmm. and I looked at him and I said, Hey, Django, would you like to be chained back up? <laughs> And the next thing you know, I was fine. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Vicky. Well, you welcome to Celebrity Chitty Chat Chat with Miss Pitt. We are going to have a good time. Oh, Miss Vicky, you know what time it is, right? Uh-oh. It's ghetto titty time, y'all. Ladies Ooh. and gentlemen. We have to welcome Miss Vicky. And I'm sorry, y'all, but that's all the time we got. That's it? That's it, But we girl. just got here. We got more to say. We're going to say more because, girl, we got 16 weeks of this. Well, you better be prepared. You better have a lot of ghetto teenies because these two got a lot, a lot to say. And we're going to say it, girl. Here's the Miss Vicky and here's the Celebrity Chitty Chat Chat with your girl. Bam! 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 Miss Pam! I know. <laughs> Damn, damn, Miss Pam. <laughs> no, it's bam, bam. No, if you spend if, 10 minutes alone with her, it's damn, damn, Miss Pam. <laughs> yes, sir. I think that, I'm going to take her to Nosh and Swig. You should do that. She she would like that. Maybe she'll pay for it. No, she's not going to pay for it, but she would like to go with you. Well, good. Then I'll have to go to the bathroom at that certain point of oh, the oh, wow. of the meal and leave her there. Hey, listen, great show tonight. Yes, great show, Dynamite. This was fantastic. Yeah. Hey, listen, why don't, why don't you say we do this uh, sometime next week? Sure. What would time you, next would week? you be... Same time. Same time. Same station. Same station. I'll right, see you here. Pencil you in. I'll be right here. Is there going to be booze? Yes. Wonderful. I'll be in. Excellent. We'll see you guys next week.